Hey guys, so my last charm update before this one was the evolutions and then the one before that was back in February So I'm gonna to try to post up more charm updates and if you want tutorials on um, these charms Just let me know and I'll see if I can make them for you The first two charms are tutorial charms and I put an extra little bit of glaze in the lens here I also got a good tip to put a photo in the lens before putting glaze in so it's kind of like you captured a picture if you want to see how to make this charm, I'm going to put the tutorial in the down box below. Then I made this Meredith Chibi inspired by the movie Brave, and there is a tutorial of this by Debbie Arts. If you stuck around since the beginning of my YouTube career, I actually made a lot of Little Mermaid Chibis in the past, but this one is again inspired by Debbie Arts. The last Ariel charm I made was inspired by Pink Sugar Cotton, and again, her tutorial will also be in the down box along with Debbie Arts. From my charming spotlight, I showed my key blades first, and this is inspired by a metal charm from my friend's keychain. I then made three more actually, um, but I sold two of them. This one is what I call the fancy keyblade, and it's inspired by Kawaii Charms 831. If you want to see this in more detail, you can watch my charming spotlight video. Then I made a bunch of these card captures cloud key and this was inspired by a tutorial by Sangichi. Her tutorial is super easy to follow and I made like 9 of them. These are all listed on my store envy along with a lot of other charms so go check that out if you're interested. These are also featured in my second charming spotlight video so go check that out if you'd like to see more details. I then made this Sailor Moon scepter and this was a lot of fun. Almost everything here is pearl except the yellow so you have this little pearl crystal and a pearl staff. I then made these vampire teeth with blood on them, and this was inspired by a charm I saw on Etsy. But I also know another crafter has made some vampire teeth also, and her channel will be in the description box below. Her name is Katrin Kawaii, and she is very, very sweet and very talented. I then had some rainbow left over from when I made a custom pen for that one girl saying hi and I made a Mamagoma neon cat, or just, I guess, a rainbow Mamagoma charm. I made a super tiny ham and lettuce sandwich. I then made these Rulakuma jam toast, and they're little heart jams, so if you'd like a tutorial on this, just let me know. I made this Hello Kitty waffle charm using a chopstick as a texturing tool. I then made some ice cream cones and I haven't put anything in it yet, but I just thought it was kind of cute the way it looks right now. Then I made this turtle bun inspired by the Bredo Turtle Squishy. I then made this little cupcake with micro marble sprinkles. The next six charms were made using this mold that I created out of a charm that I got from Japan. And if you are interested in this mold, it's on my store envy and there's only five available. So the first charm I made were these friendship charms and they are Reese's cups in Rilukuma shape. I then made another one, but the bite is taken out at the corner. So again, it's still a Reese's cup. I then tried to make a realistic Rilukuma Heart, but it kind of looks kind of funny so I instead just call it a Hawaiian bear with the flower and the little pink cheeks. I made a second one and I like this a lot better so it looks more realistic and it looks more like Rilakkuma. Then I made these two Rilakkuma tarts and it reminds me a lot of the Rilakkuma squishies but I prefer this one right here better because the cupcake base is a lot thinner and it looks more realistic than this one which has a very thick base.
If you would like to see a tutorial of this charm, feel free to ask me in the comment box below. But again, you would probably need this mold. I will try to make one without using a mold in the tutorial if you guys request it. Then I made some more charms inspired by Etsy and this is Jake on a dog bone. I saw this on Etsy for I think $40 and I'll put the link to that in the description box below. But I also have this listed on my store envy. Also inspired by the same Etsy seller, I made a fin sitting on a sword. This too is also available on my store envy. Then I made this Hello Kitty donut with some fudge on the top made from a mold I got from Deco Den Accessories and this is using hardy clay. I then made three more using mermaid puffy clay. If you compare the hardy to the mermaid puffy, hardy actually shrinks a little bit but puffy seems to retain the shape. From the same mold I also made some more mermaid puffy creations and this is what it looks like. All of these items are listed on my store envy. If they are not, then you can just send me an email or a comment or a message and I would be happy to list them up for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this charm update and thanks for watching.